Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I know I am because, ladies and gentlemen, we've we've done it. We got there. We've got the boys left. All right. We've got only the lads left. My my boy boy one. I get. I don't know. I look. Don't make me pick between them. I was gonna say like one of them's number one and the other's like number two, but I I don't even. I, maybe I. But like. But then. But like. But yeah. But like. The, mm, anyway. We're gonna we're gonna dive into Vivia's case. I am excited for this one because I like Vivia. However, I I would be lying if I said that I wasn't more excited for Yakos. I'm so I'm so ready. I want to see Yako do detective stuff. I mean, though I guess we did get to see like his his kind of detective brain at work setting up the the murder that he committed, right? Like I I, I guess that's one just working backwards, right, from the other end of the spectrum. Death is always awaiting me upon my path. Like trees neatly lining the roadside, casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them and make progress down that path, when I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. To live means to continuously die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. Whew, Jesus, buddy. That's, a uh, that's dire. And so, I too am dying in this moment. I mean, to be fair, we all are. It's just like a very, very bleak outlook, but I guess he does see spirits like anytime he uses his forte. He's probably, he's probably grown kind of callous to this. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. And the management company isn't responding either. I guess we just have to wait. If you wait long enough, everything will come to an end. That, that is true. Just as there is rain unceasing, a day will come when the sun doesn't rise, and when the oceans dry up too. One day, you will die, and so will I. Is that supposed to be a joke? How can you talk about death in this situation? <laughs> I really expected her to turn around and be like, okay, that's like a cool story guy, but I didn't really ask anyway. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this situation enough to make light jokes about it. I think I'd find things a bit more enjoyable if I wasn't trapped in here with you. What the fuck? Hold on. I apologize if I've offended you. I wish to avoid all unnecessary fights. Same goes for me. Uh, You're the one being combative, lady. Sorry, I raised my voice. I'm not used to situations like this. Nor am I. We found something we agree on. Aren't you afraid? Afraid? Why? Of all this. Uh, of being stuck in an We're elevator? Stuck in an elevator, hanging in midair. What if something happens and we fall to our deaths? Okay, well, by that logic, are you afraid every time you get in an elevator? Because just because the elevator is stuck doesn't mean that it is more prone to fall, right? Like, I guess she's worried that like a mechanical failure or something, and then it's just gonna fall. I don't, I don't buy that. I'm, I'm not here for that. All right, like, this shit happens, and then you, it, it's fine, you know. I've never been stuck in an elevator, but I, I, I've, ne I've known people who have. I have seen videos of people who have, and you just like kind of chill, and then someone comes and gets you out, right? Though, isn't there normally an escape hatch on the top of these for this exact reason? Like, maybe, maybe this is, it, it's an old timey elevator before they cared about safety. I don't think I'm afraid. What if the elevator is never fixed and we're trapped here forever? Then it'll be like a coffin. I actually think it would be rather cozy. 
I could just sleep here until I die. What's with you and your death wish? It's not like I intended to have one. It's hard to describe. Thinking of death is like breathing to me. <laughs> Jesus. Do you find it fun to live like that? Isn't that what life is all about? There are things that I find fun. For example, I love reading stories. For some reason, I feel more alive when I can invest in a story's protagonist. It's fair, I get that. I also love gazing at the beauty found in nature. Seeing plants sway in the breeze brings joy to my heart. I don't get that one quite as much, but you, you know. You sure are a strange one. Am I? What about you? What makes you happy? Well... I suppose I like to observe life. That's a very weird, observe that's a way weirder life. answer. I'm just saying, that is by far a much stranger answer. Hey, Vivia, what do you like to do? I like reading books, uh, novels, things like that. Um, really getting invested into them. Um, I, I like, uh, I like nature, long, long walks out in, you know, in the park. Just kind of, kind of watching, watching the trees, being, being engrossed in the natural world. What about you? I like observing life. What the fuck does that mean? Hello? I used to be a nurse. That's such a I weird way to say life that. Saved and lost at the hospital. Life should be more precious than diamonds. But some people are treated more poorly than a pebble on the road. Isn't that strange? A life is a life. So why should its value be different depending on the person? Mm, an interesting so moral, now, quan moral quandary. Whenever I look at people, I watch their lives. I wonder how valuable each life may be. You're also kind of strange. <laughs> yeah. Am I? Speaking of which, I didn't catch your name. I'm Vivia. Who are you? Why are you guys here? I'm Rio. Rio. I think we may have met before. Do you remember? Oh, are we getting a flashback? I, I'm still very curious where they are and why they're there. If they think there's a chance no one will come save them. Like, <laughs> and, and, and I guess they both coincidentally happen to take the elevator at the same time. Oh, here's the backstory. Thank you. I need the context. Hey, Vivia. Everyone else is out on a job. How long are you gonna stay there? Until... I die? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Do I have to pull the pieces of you out of there once you're a skeleton? If you have free time, why don't you help work on some unsolved cases? Chief, do I look like I have a lot of free time to you? <laughs> You look like you're so bored you could die. But look, just hear me out as a way to kill time. There have been a series of suspicious deaths lately. People jumping to their demise from a certain building. The first one was over five years ago, and people have been periodically jumping ever since. There's been over 10 confirmed cases. What's suspicious about that? They came across a building to jump off of when they happened to feel like dying. That's probably all there is to it. That could be true for one or two cases, but over ten times in the same spot? I mean... Is that really that, like, weird? I, I, is it like a... I, I, I guess I need to know more about the building. Is it like a really tall building? That would be why people choose that one right but there's also i don't know like it, i don't feel like this is that strange also didn't he say over 10 times in the past like however many years or something like five years so two people a year that's not a very high rate i feel but i guess i also don't know the normal rate of people dying from jumping off of buildings in particular specific buildings actually I, i'm not sure how i wonder how many people died just like where I live <laughs> per, per year from jumping off buildings. It's probably not that many, right? It's like a rather 
another extreme way. That's unusual, no matter how you look at it. Are you suggesting someone is pulling the strings behind the scenes? We won't know until it's investigated. It'd be an absolute nightmare if someone is getting their kicks, killing people, and making it look like suicide. That's, that's fair. For the sake of the town's safety, it's not something we can ignore. That's where we come in. There's no point in investigating it. All we will find is boring reality. No matter how boring it is, it's still reality. There's value in finding it. Detectives are such troublesome creatures. <laughs> Aren't you one too? Huh? Don't look at me all surprised. Why'd you come here if you're no detective? Aren't you here to solve mysterious crimes and help those who are lost? Uh. Why, why did I come here? Wait a minute. Who am- where am I? <laughs> Just been in, I just crawled in this fireplace randomly. I'm just some guy that lives here. Master detective, what are you talking about? I just happen to wander in with everyone else. And I'm, I know I say it every time, but give me more loading screen tips about the, the, these characters, especially since I'm playing as them now. Like, come on. I want more Vivia lore, please. He asked me why I came to this town. Anyway, here's my Vivia lore. I don't understand it myself. I'm not actively searching for a place to die just yet. And I'm not here to be a detective searching for the truth. It's nothing so pure or sincere. The reason I came to this city was due to my impatience with living. What did I seek by coming here? What do I expect from this place? Ma'am, that says wait? Excuse you. That was a woman in a red raincoat. That reminds me, the chief did mention something. Around the building where the suicides occur, a suspicious woman in a red raincoat has often been spotted. I'm not interested in the truth, but I am interested in her. I should try to tag along behind her without being spotted. Oh god, don't make me... Oh, fuck. Oh, look at his little run! Long live Amaterasu! Okay, guy. <laughs> you, you look like such a dork. I'm sorry, dude. This walk is fine. <laughs> the run is, is something else, brother. She went straight across here. Oh, she'll never see him. He's so sneaky. Hmm. I wonder. Why are you always around this building, huh? Is she maybe trying to stop the people from jumping off? How the hell did she get down there so quick? Skirt! Jesus, she's right fucking there. I was like, where did she go? We are taking one roundabout ass way. Holy hell. How polite of her to wait for me also. That was so nice of you to wait for your your weird creepy stalker. I see. This is the perfect building for dying. Why? What what is what, what is so nice about this particular building? I guess uh We've met before? Are you sure about that? I don't remember you at all. 
Are you sure it was me you met? There's no mistake. You have that smell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not something you ever want to say to another person. Holy shit, that is horrifying. Nah, man. You tell, you're tell you locked in an elevator with me, and you tell me I've met you before you have that smell? I'm throwing hands. It's fight or flight, dude. I have no shot. Uh-uh. And I want to make this very clear. This is not a I'm offended. You know, oh, how dare you say that I smell or you creep for, for you know, smelling me. Nah, man. Anyone who's like, I recognize you by your scent, that's not a person. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not buying that. You're some weirdo monster. And I can't run anywhere. I'm stuck in the elevator. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting the drop first. I'm taking the first swing. No shot. I would lose against no. Vivia, but, you know. You smell faintly of death. What do you mean by that? That's rather rude. Do you live in this building? Yes. Why? Uh -huh. Weird place From to live, I've but heard, okay. There hasn't been anyone living in this building for a long time. Who said that? Oh. Was it the people around here? They probably have a grudge against this place. They say the building blocks the sun, or that it's sinking into the bedrock. What? What uh? about all the people who have fallen to their deaths from this place? Is that nothing but a groundless rumor, too? <laughs> of course it is. But it isn't. It's fact. Even the newspapers have articles about it. If you live here, then you must have heard about it. <laughs> Many unsolved cases in the city have been completely left alone. Of course, this has nothing to do with me. I have no interest or desire to know the truth. However, I am somewhat interested in you. Are you hitting on me? I suppose you could take it that way. Well, <laughs> that's not the answer See, I expected. To be honest, I'm interested in you too. Hey, yo, hold on a minute. Although it's more that your life force makes me curious. <laughs> it's, how do I put this? Faint, thinner than paper. Almost as though I can see death waiting on the other side. I could say the same about you. Hmm. Sheesh. This is a hassle. I guess I'll get to the point. You killed them, didn't you? Damn, just straight up, huh? I did it. You lured people from the city here and pushed them off the building, making it appear like suicide. Why did you kill them? There's no benefit in it for you. For fun? You wanted to see them die? Or did you develop a special interest in the value of people's lives? Ooh, interesting. If so, that makes you a serial killer. Well, hold on. I, I, okay, I guess he means if so, if you did kill them. I thought that was if you developed the interest. I was like, I think just, well, I, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about things I don't know about. For once, for once, and full on stopping himself. He doesn't know enough, so he's not gonna continue on it. I'm not exactly sure what the certain criteria are for being a serial killer. I just thought that that meant there had to be like a connection between the killings, right? Like even, even if, for example, I, I was under the assumption that even if the way that you killed multiple people were the same, that would make you a serial killer. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, it could be, who knows? Someone knows, not me. <laughs> me? A killer? Well then, I guess that means you're trapped inside an elevator with a killer. He'll be fine. He's a badass. Strangely, I've found myself in situations like this often. Whether I want it or not, death finds its way to me. You're not afraid? Afraid? No, it's more like... Observing from a great distance as dark clouds slowly spread out over the ocean. I don't quite get it, but it doesn't sound joyful to me. 
Though, you were like this from the very beginning. Truth be told, I can tell when someone has a death wish. I sense their desire to go to the other side. Yes, you remind me of them. Lady, what are you? The other side. Did all those you lured here feel the same way? Lord, you're mistaken. I didn't do anything myself. I was just here. People like you happen to show up here. Then they depart to the other side on their own. You really want to insist that you weren't involved? That all those who died came here of their own accord? That's right. Aren't you the same way? Me? Perhaps. Here, what, what, what is up with her? Something, something ain't right here. What? Are, are you like a person, or are you like a weird spirit that Vivia can see? That could maybe be, th though, I don't know, all the other ghosts that Vivia ever saw were, like, not sentient or corporeal, really. Well, obviously, none of them are corporeal, but, you know, they didn't have form. I want to die someday, and perhaps this is a fitting place for it. The view here is nice, don't you think? That's certainly an added benefit. Hmm. The journey here wasn't easy, but things are just getting started. Vivia, let's save Kanai Ward. Together. That's not why I came to this city. Right. I'm counting on you then. Wait, 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 what did you say? Did I mishear you? I don't care what happens to Kanai Ward. <laughs> And I have no intention to obey orders from the WDO either. Why do you work for the WDO? I just want some peace and quiet. A calming place where time will gently pass by. What are you talking about? You're not going to find that here. The only place you can find perfect peace is heaven. And the only ones who can reach it are the dead. Wait, don't tell me you... Just leave me alone. I can't do that. We need your help. Hey, Vivia! I still... I still don't quite get it. Why, why did you... Why join the WDO at all? I've always been able to see the dead, and what they tell me is always true. The truth has been exhausting for me, for as long as I can remember. Even when I cover my eyes and ears, their voices continue to whisper it to me. Now, hold on. I thought, maybe I'm misremembering, but I thought he couldn't really talk to the ghosts. I thought that, like, when he, you know, drifts out of his body, goes Danny Phantom mode, right? I thought that the things he saw were like those weirdo, the, 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 the spirits were like incoherent, you know? I didn't think he could actually communicate with them. Because wasn't that the whole bit where he could see Shinigami the whole time? And he was like, I know that thing's bad. I don't know about that. That's, that one's no good right there. But I, I maybe, maybe that was just a, an assumption on my part based on the, the gameplay bit we had. Where he had to, like, dodge all the ghosts and stuff, you know? Please, be quiet. No matter how much I beg for it, the calm will never come. That does sound horrible, Where's though. Where's the perfect peace? Having them constantly... It's found... in death. Ah, there's the look. Everyone who steps into this elevator has the same look in their eyes. They want to escape reality as soon as possible. They don't care where they end up, as long as they can get away. This elevator will take you to your desired exit. The path to the other side. And it's your job to see them off? You've seen so many on their way from here. It's like you are the guide to the afterlife. 
So what if I am? Aren't you similar? Hmm. Perhaps. That may be true. It moved. Life is like this elevator. Once it moves, it will not stop. I can hear them. Hey, Vivia! Where are you? Did he not tell Yako where he was going? That's kind of hey, fucked up. Vivia! Where are you? Let's go, Yako! That voice. Do you recognize it? Oh. No. If you have any attachments in this world, I suggest you don't depart. Attachments? If that's the case, why did you go to the other side? Huh? The first of those who died was a woman wearing a red raincoat. She is a ghost that haunts the building. Was real. It was written in a newspaper article. That's awesome! Why do you still ride this elevator, even after death? Isn't it because you're still attached to this world? <sighs> Who are you? You don't seem like an ordinary human. I'm a regular detective. I just happen to have one foot on the other side. I see. Still, you surprise me. You knew I was already dead. I told you in the beginning, and you smelled of death. <laughs> you did. You're responsible for stopping this elevator. Using some spiritual power. Or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> ghost magic, who cares? You haven't been guiding the suicidal to the roof of this building. You've been stopping the elevator in an attempt to make them reconsider. You sure are a mean one. You knew all along. Did you try to save them? Yes. As I'm sure you know, I haven't been able to stop a single one. More than ten, and I've watched all of them go. That's why I think it's my fault. Because I chose this place for my own death, it's become rather famous for suicides. I was just tired of living. I wanted to go somewhere far away from this place. It just is not your fault. Like, there's no, unless you're gonna tell me that, like, her presence as, like, the ghost haunting the building is, like, supernaturally drawing people here. If that's literally the only thing is that she's like, this is my fault because I jumped off this building first. And now people are like, ah, oh, someone else died here, so I guess I can too. That, uh, no, they, if, if their intent was to kill themselves, they were gonna do it anyway, just some other means. They just happen to choose the same one as you. Uh, unless someone who was not suicidal happens to become suicidal by going near this building or something, then maybe I could understand that argument. Otherwise, I don't know. Like, just because you died here doesn't mean that when other people do it, you cause them to, like, that's not how that works. But you regret it. Yes. That's why I always stop the elevator whenever someone comes here, so I can speak to them. But I've never been able to convince them otherwise. All I've done is provide some time to think things over. Everyone who comes here has claimed none would be saddened by their deaths. I've never been able to get them to recant those words. That should be expected. After all, it is the truth. Jesus! Everyone must overcome the death of others to keep on living. No one can remain in place and look back every time. Is that so? We're almost to the roof. From here on, I can do nothing to stop this. Please listen. Even if you get to the roof, 
Don't step out onto the floor. Why? Because they will try to take you. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. As long as you don't listen to them, you'll be able to shake it off. What the? What do you mean they? The people who died here? That's because you're here to investigate what happened, not for your own death. I don't know about that. The moment I got on the elevator, I think I made up my mind. No! You must be determined to survive! Otherwise, they will take you! Life and death. I fail to see the border between the two anymore. They both overlap. I can no longer tell which one is the real me. Then please, think of the people you will leave behind! You must have some in your life. Are you really going to depart without saying farewell to them? There must be someone you'll regret not saying goodbye to. If I had someone like that, I wouldn't be here. I have no one. We need your help. Yako, my boy. Everyone has Yako. He's the he's the detective agency dad. Isn't it cool to have a detective agency in a submarine? So true, buddy. If you ever have trouble here in Kanai Ward, just come on by. The other detectives and I will always have your back. In exchange, you better watch out for us, too. What a pain. If you ever need something, let me know. I want peace and quiet. Huh? I want to be left alone. There's no way I can do that. We're pals, aren't we? Vivia, you've barely eaten a thing since you came here. You're looking kind of emaciated. I'm eating well enough. What holds That's up a not book? For eating. That's for reading. <laughs> same thing. How could they be the same thing? Do you hate the food in this town or something? The hotel restaurants offer lots of different choices. I'm sure you'll find something you can eat. All right. Today's my treat. Let's go get dinner at a restaurant. Why bother with all that trouble? I wish you'd leave me alone. No! I can't do that. I may not look it, but I can be pretty persistent. You told me one thing, so now I have to do the opposite. That's just how I am. That's what made me the detective I am today. <laughs> God, he's such a dork. I miss him all the time. Every day. Don't wish for death. At this rate, you'll be taken away. They're growing stronger. Each new one makes them more formidable. They will even take hold of the living! We've arrived. They're coming. Pretty bad. Not a fan of this. Uh, so death awaits me here. Don't go any further. Huh? They are moving. It's almost as though they haven't noticed you. I thought so. 
We were only able to take away the living. He was in ghost form the whole time! Then you're also... I'm the same as you are. I'm a ghost. No way! However, in my case, my body still lingers in this world. What does that mean? Who are you? Yeah, this is a hard one to explain, lady. <laughs> I've already told you. I'm an ordinary detective. I just happen to have one foot on the other side. I decided to come here in my ghost form to try talking to you. And thanks to that, I can't be dragged out of here. Really? I don't quite understand. But you sure are a mysterious person. How- this doesn't solve the problem, though. There are literal ghosts trying to, to take people I here. I wouldn't mind walking away on my own. But I refuse to let someone take me away from here. That is not the peace I desire. So you've reconsidered. There is no need for you to be imprisoned here. I think your atonement has been fulfilled. Isn't it about time you sever your attachments here? No. I want to remain behind. I need to ensure they don't take anyone else who comes here. Not everyone is as strong as you are. I'm not strong at all. I've just grown used to death. Also, will the elevator move again? Or is it stuck on the roof? Yeah, until someone pushes the button. Oh, does he... Vivia! Are you there? No, his ghost is there. That's Chief Yako. Don't let him push the button. Get out of there. Holy ah! shit, Yako. He's not here? Damn it. I'm at the wrong place. I thought he'd come here to investigate. Oh, he doesn't know. No! <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Wait, did he run up the stairs and now he's taking he it down? He took the stairs all the way to the roof to chase after the elevator. What a giga chad! He must have been worried about you. <sighs> I've watched over ten people depart, but he's the first one I've seen come looking for the dead. You have a place you can return to. Perhaps that's the difference between us. Honestly, I don't care for all the noise. I'm rather envious of your world. However, if you have a place to return home to, you should. Home, huh? I find myself hesitating. I don't know which path I should take. Isn't it obvious? Where did you go? Aww. Please, go back to him. I'm sure he's waiting for you to return. I am curious, where did you leave your body, Vivia, if it wasn't at the agency? Like, what do you... Where did... Where'd you go, buddy? Because he has to leave his body somewhere, right? Is it maybe somewhere else in the building? I'm not sure how far he can travel from his body. There might be like a range on it. I was looking all over for you. Just out in the rain. Okay. You had such a solemn look on your face when you left. So I had a hunch. What happened? 
I got a bit lost. Getting lost at your age? Then again, you didn't come to this city that long ago, so I guess that makes sense. Yes! Let's go! This is all I ever wanted! Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go back to my awesome agency office. Yeah! But like, also what... What are we going to do about that building? Death is always awaiting me upon my path. Like trees neatly lining the roadside, casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them, make it to the end of that path. When I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. To live means to continuously die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. And so, I too am dying in this moment. However, as long as I continue to travel this path, I may enjoy some peaceful scenery. Beyond the truth. Perhaps the peace I desire can be found there. Well, that's it! That was so sweet! Let's go, my boy Vivia. I still think we... Like, I really hope that, you know, headcanon, Vivia's like, hey, Yako, there's like literal ghosts at that building that actually... <laughs> kill people. Like, if you get in the elevator and ride into the top, they will reach out and, and steal you. <laughs> so, like... We... Do we just hear me out? What if we actually did just cut the cables on the elevator? We're just like, nah, get that out of here. Get the done. No one goes to the building anyway. Who cares, right? It's fine. It, it, no one lives there. It's an empty building. Or, or just just keep keep people out somehow. Keep them away from the elevator. Anyway, <laughs> that's just these are the things I think about. Anyway, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the official store page and get the game for yourself if you want to do so. And if you made it this far with me, I really, truly appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day or your night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you again next time. Good bye.